Hi guys, welcome back to JC's acting lesson. This is lesson three, and we're going to be looking at choosing the right monologue. If you've missed the past two lessons, um, you can click here or here to go back to lesson one or two. So if you click that now, before we go any further, if you need to work on getting started with acting or on inhibitions for yourself before we go any further, please click one of these links now. Thank you. Okay, choosing the right monologue. Um, a good place to start, what is the monologue for? Okay, you need to be aware of whether it's just a monologue to go into your repertoire, if it's just to add on to the other ones that you've already got, or if it's for an audition of any sort. Okay, if it's for your repertoire, fine. You've, I'm guessing you've picked a monologue that you like, right? If it's for an audition, what are they looking for? Okay, do they need a classical monologue? Do they need a contemporary monologue? Which is usually from 1950s onwards. Um, anything before that is more or less classed as classical, i.e. Shakespeare, for instance. Uh, okay, choosing the monologue. Right, the monologue I've chose is a contemporary monologue. Either way, guys, you need to make sure that the monologue you've picked is a complete contrast from the other ones that you've already got especially in your repertoire. If the other monologues that you've got in your repertoire are mainly comedy or quite serious acting, then how about you find something that's a bit of both, okay? Um, and mix them both together. If it's one for an audition, then what else are they looking for? You would have probably prepared one already, um, which is maybe, let's say you've prepared a classical one then you need to find something that's going to completely contrast that classical one, okay? So if it's a funny classical, go with straight acting classical. If it's a straight acting one, but they need two straight acting ones, then go for one that is completely different and takes a totally different journey from the one you've already got. Picking the right monologue. If you're looking for comedy monologue, please don't just pick one that you think is hilarious. Right? Because just because you think it's funny doesn't necessarily mean that you are the right person to play that character. If you're picking one that you think everyone else finds funny, then again, make sure that you're the right person to play it. Because you might be the worst comedian ever, okay? Um, make sure that you know where the punchlines are and you are good at comedy timing, okay? Okay, so let's take comedy monologue for starters. Um, Make sure, firstly, before you even start learning the lines, read through it a couple of times, make sure that you can find all the punchlines before you get started, okay? Because once you know where all those punchlines are, then you can take it to the level it needs to be at. Is it the right comedy monologue for you? Okay, firstly, do you get the jokes? Okay, if you don't get the jokes, it's not the right one for you, obviously. What's funny about the monologue? Is it the character? Okay, if it's the character, first, well, Mainly, you need to focus on what the character is all about. Where does the character come from? Is it someone that you could become really easily? Make sure it's someone that will be believable as you, okay? Serious monologues. Okay, if you've got a serious monologue, make sure that it varies in journey. Again, make sure with a serious monologue that the character is someone that you can really easily become, someone that's quite believable for you to play them. Once you've done that, make sure the monologue has got plenty ups and downs, okay? Because it needs to be interesting to watch. And if the monologue's just blah, 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 there's nothing to it, you need to be aware of that before you even pick that monologue to do. Okay, the reason you need to make sure that you've got the right character and you've got all the levels inside the monologue is because you need to show off your talent. Don't show off how clever you can be with the text, okay? That defeats the purpose. The point of an audition is to show what you're good at. And a lot of people get taken up in, oh, I love this monologue, so I'm going to do this one. Oh my God, someone said that's really funny, so I'll do that instead. It doesn't work like that. You need to make sure that what you're displaying in front of a panel or for your repertoire is something that goes, look how good I can be. Not something that goes, oh my God, I really thought about this and I've done it all because I think it's clever. It doesn't work like that, guys. Always remember that, please. The monologue has got plenty ups and downs, right? That's brilliant. But be careful, because sometimes, if you get a monologue, for instance, let's say someone who's schizophrenic, 
that might be too much for a panel or whoever's holding the audition to take in, right? Because if it's too much, then it'll be boom, 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 boom. And all the panel is really seeing is craziness. And it, it's, it's all very, they won't get wrapped up in that sometimes. You need to be able to play it right. Okay, so make sure there's not too much within the monologue. Okay, so an example, I've picked my monologue from this book, right? Now, rather than carry this book around with you all the time, once you've picked that monologue, make it accessible, right? A little bit of paper that you can take everywhere with you. Whenever you've got a spare minute, you need to be checking these lines. Highlight them, know exactly what you're supposed to be doing, and don't carry that book around with you everywhere because it just gets in the way and that will stop you looking at it in depth like you should be doing. Okay, now you've picked your monologue. Is it interesting enough, right? What you might find is that once you've gone through it and it's, you might think, oh, do you know what? This isn't actually as interesting as I thought it was. So you go back to the start and find a different one, okay? Be careful not to ask everyone's advice. What monologue do you think I should do? Oh, I'm really stuck. I don't know what monologue to do. Someone will tell you a monologue and you'll go, oh my God, that's brilliant. Is it really brilliant? Or do you just think that because you like it? Be honest. It might not work for you. If there's any more questions that you've got on picking the monologue or the right monologue for you, give me some comments down below or subscribe and I will cover some more of these Later. Give me a thumbs up, let me know if you need any help with anything, I will post some other videos in reference to other topics in terms of acting later on, um, but for now that was choosing the right monologue, make sure that you've got the right one. Bye guys! Woohoo! <laughs>